The bullet blasted through a window, narrowly missing a 15-year-old girl's head as she slept just before 5am. The first shot was fired at a fence on Westwood Drive. It bounced off a gate and broomstick before flying through the window and hitting a wardrobe. Just five minutes prior to the attack, the teen was sitting up in bed looking at her phone. It's uh, very fortunate that... Uh she hasn't been shot, injured or even killed. The drive-by shooters also fired a second bullet further along the side of the California Gully house and another at a front window as two adults slept inside. This is concerning. Uh, it's uninvited, it's not welcome and we're unimpressed. Three other young children were staying at the home, including Joshua Cox's one-year-old daughter. Oh, I just hope that this is dealt with accordingly and they actually realise the severity of this. Nearby residents are rattled. Terrible. I've got grandkids, I've got great grandkids that are up here all the time. So you're just, you're wary. We keep the door locked all the time. Police say it appears a targeted shooting, but at this stage they don't have a motive. Adding any information could help them catch the person who put an innocent child's life in danger. Sarah Lawrence, Nine News.